Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a loop out animation inside Adobe After Effects. So say if you animated something and you want it to loop for the entire composition, how do you do that? And I'm going to show you this neat little expression that will allow you to do this inside After Effects. So inside After Effects here, what I have is just an animation of a circle going up and down and I set keyframes and say if I just wanted this to loop out for the full composition. Composition is 30 seconds but this animation is only two seconds. So what we're going to do is add a, an expression and what's nice about this expression is it really works for any type of parameter. So in this example I'm using position but say if you animated rotation, scale, opacity, really any type of thing, this will work for really any type of animation. So to apply the expression, what we're going to do is hover over the stopwatch, hold down option and click, and this will enable the expression panel to open. And we'll just type this in. And if you don't want to type it in, I do have the code down in the video description. So feel free to go and copy that into this dialog box. So we're going to type in a loop. So L O O P O U T and then open parentheses and then we're going to type in type equals and then quotation marks and then we'll type in cycle and then after the end quotation marks make a comma and then type in num keyframes and then equals zero and then go outside of the close parentheses and then make a semicolon and then click off and then you should have a loop out expression. So if we play this back, you'll see that it just basically restarts the animation and you have uh, animation going over and over again for infinity. Okay, so that works for just animations, but say if you had like maybe a stock animation or some type of video that you wanna loop over and over again, like if you have something and it's not really animated, but you just wanna loop this background over and over again, I'm gonna show you how to do that next. So I'm gonna collapse this and hide this layer and what I have in the project panel is just a stock animation so I'm going to drag this in and so this is just a pre-made animation that I downloaded from Digital Juice and as you can see it's only 10 seconds long and say if we wanted this to be the full 30 seconds of the composition what you'd normally do is probably duplicate this maybe hit command D slide this over you know and just do it that until you fill the composition but what we're going to do is actually use the loop out expression to just expand this. But there's a few things that you have to do first. So what you have to do initially is right click and go to time enable time remapping. And this will basically allow you to edit the time of this layer. And if you hit O on your keyboard to go to the end of the animation, this is important. You need to make a keyframe here. And if you zoom in, you'll see that there's a keyframe at the very end. You'll want to click that and delete this because um, otherwise the loop out expression won't work because it's analyzing this keyframe, which is uh, a dark screen. And you'll notice like a blip of black if you try to use that loop out expression without doing this. So now we'll zoom back out. And now we have our keyframes here. And what we'll essentially do is add the loop out expression to the time remap animation instead of like, you know, under the shape layer we did to the position. In this case, we're doing it to the time remap. So we'll hold down option, click on the stopwatch, and we'll do the same exact thing. We'll type in loop out, open parentheses, type equals quotation marks, cycle, num keyframes equals zero and then close that out with a semicolon and now what you want to do is extend this so whenever you uh, enable time remapping you can extend the boundaries of the layer so we'll just extend this out to the very end and now if we hit play and we watch this we have a looping animation now one other thing that you can do here, say if this doesn't loop, say if it's not a perfect loop, but you still want to loop it, what you can do is change this cycle to what's called ping pong. And what this does is it ping pongs the animation. So I'll show you how this works. So if you type in ping pong, 
and you play it, you'll see that it actually reverses. So it's basically, you know, from this point forward, it's actually going backwards. And then when it goes back to the beginning, it will go back forward again. So you have 20 seconds, then it ping pongs again. So that's how that works. Those are the two different options that you can use for the type is cycle and ping pong. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you want to learn more about expressions, I actually put together another tutorial going over my absolute favorite expression to use in After Effects that I use all the time as a motion designer. I'll link it right up here. Feel free to go watch that. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.